Hello guys, uh, uh, myself Anjan actually, uh, I am an aerospace engineer, I have done my aerospace engineering from IIT Bombay, I have worked uh, in industry for nearly 25 years, I have worked as an engineer in some reputed organization like one defense PSU that Hindustan Aeronautic uh, Limited which is uh, the one and only aircraft manufacturing uh, 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 publisher enterprise in India and then uh, I have worked in one of the most reputed company of the world that is the General Electric in the area of uh, again the uh, power generation gas turbine and then since last 16 years I am working in Infosys uh, in uh, designing various aircraft structures like Boeing's fuselage and many others so my career of 25 years uh, has uh, uh, has been uh, related to aerospace, mechanical engineering, and uh, so basically from the childhood I am I am a science lover. So after working in the industry for 25 years, uh, recently when I was uh, teaching my daughter, uh, I thought that as compared to the coaching and tuition classes, maybe my personal guidance and mentoring will help her a lot. So I started looking at the chapters and physics and maths which I, which I used to love a lot in my student days. So after having lots of practical exposure and having seen the real world, basically engineering is nothing but uh, numbers put on some uh, pure science concepts. So if you are good at pure science you and uh, you can definitely be a good engineer and uh, the uh, the uh, physics or maths from an engineer's perspective will be a little bit different because engineers know the practical world. So, so after having the practical exposure and uh, having worked in the industry, I guided my daughter for last three to four months. And, uh, and there are subjects which I used to love a lot in my uh, college days uh, when I was in 9, 10, 11 or 12. So thermals and fluids are more, one of the most favorite subjects uh, that I had and um, similarly uh, the uh, automobile engineering, thermals and fluids and the mechanics of uh, solids and all these subjects. Similarly um, uh, mathematics is also equally interesting for me. So uh, I after having these practical experiences when I again went back to my physics what I had studied as a student uh, as, a, as a 17 or 18 year old I found a lot of uh, difference and I could understand it much better I was able to correlate it much better and with with, uh, with some 25 to 30 minutes time I was able to explain all these concepts uh, like every chapter in 25 to 30 minutes I was able to explain so um, uh, the physics uh, from an engineer's viewpoint can be a little bit different. So um, that teachings uh, what I have uh, taught my daughter for last three to four months, I have uh, made it into small small videos and I have uploaded in the YouTube. Initially it was with the purpose of uh, uh, my daughter's reference but then I thought that it can help many students as uh, my daughter. So this is just an attempt of mine to give back something to the society. So I have uh, uploaded uh, videos related to 11, 12 uh, physics and math. Uh, so I, uh, my daughter says that she is able to uh, understand those concepts uh, in lesser time uh, without spending um, much uh, time on uh, reading the textbook. Uh, though I always uh, always encourage you to take, read the textbook line by line that will give you much clarity. So I have uploaded uh, all these videos uh, for your uh, ready reference small small videos of 30 to 40 minutes short each and every important concepts in physics uh, for class 11 and 12 and also mathematics. Some chemistry also I have tried uh, even uh, chemistry was one of my favorite subjects. As engineer, I did not have much time to be in touch with chemistry, but I could uh, cover physics and math with uh, lots of age and uh, without much effort. So, welcome to my channel and uh, I would request you to 
um, share it as much as possible so that it will be beneficial for everyone. So no, I, as I, as a t, I, I being a son of a teacher, I always love teaching and I always feel that uh, knowledge is power and uh, uh, knowledge sharing is one of the highest form of empowering people. So please keep on sharing knowledge and uh, happy learning guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot.